Hey everyone, all right, so back on after a day of rest, which didn't feel like a day of rest, but anyway, uh, we're back here to show you the hall. So first part's going to be Little Miss Rachel's hall for her, uh, what she grabbed from the pipe show. Yes, <laughs> there were things that a 10-year-old got from a pipe show. Yes. <laughs> Come at me, government. <laughs> so, you have the floor. What are they? Stickers. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you people thought I was going to let her have tobacco at this age? You no. must be out of your mind. Because if he did, he would just be crazy. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> So, all right, show stickers. Two Smokers Haven stickers. Yep. And then, oh. <laughs> Hold on to them. And drop them. <laughs> yes, I have to do this stuff. All right, just come on. Then three Smokers Haven stickers yeah. with ours. Yeah, so the, I can't, I'm dro dropping the name on my, out of my memory on who that is, but you, some of you know him, um, but he had some stickers, and so Rachel got, hey, not, no cat, don't worry about the cat, stickers, right? <laughs> Alright, what's the next one? The shiny sticker? Yeah, pretty wild looking wind up bear, huh? In a space suit? Yes. Yeah. I cannot tell you where it's from because the person who gave it to me said, no, don't tell anyone where you got it. So, I made a promise, so I can't tell you. Alright, next one. Two Cup of Joes. First one is the classic one. And then there's this black one with metallicness. Metallicness. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> Metallicness. All right. All right. And then, um, this is black. It's gonna look gray, but um, so is this. So rust cook pipes. Yeah. That's an R. Yep. It doesn't look like it because that's. Yeah. A that's an R, but he's using the stem to make the part oh. of Yeah, I know, right? Pretty sneaky, huh? Yeah, it's very <laughs> sneaky. Yep. This is mine. So, yep. So she came away with a sticker haul. She was pleased about that. <laughs> so, now we're going to figure out where they're gonna, where, where, where she's going to stick them and I all that fun stuff. So. I want to stay for some no, it's No, it's late, and you it's a school night, and you need to go to bed. Okay. Aww. Yep, tough. Go to sleep. No getting up. Okay. No. Oh. Clumsy me. Yep. Right. Gonna have to die out. Love you, sweetie. <laughs> Love you. All right. Bye. <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. Your stickers. Bye. All right. Have a fantastic night, people. <laughs> All right. Go to bed. All right, I'm going to get myself situated. So, yeah. Uh, so the pipe show was it's fantastic. You know, and it's funny because being in Columbus, the Columbus area, never been to it before. Um, you know, but it was just a blast. Uh, my dad, my two brothers, they enjoyed the time there. Um, you know, just meeting a lot of different people there. Uh, you know, I may have mentioned this in the first part of the video, I can't remember, but Lee Von Erk, uh, total gentleman, he'll talk your ear off despite the fact that, you know, he's, you know, the pretty renowned pipe maker, um, and he brought a few absolutely stunning pieces. He showed us one on his phone where... It's almost like he stuck a bowl inside a lattice work 
and drilled the inside portions out around it so it looked like it was almost like encased within another piece of briar and he said I'll never work on one of those again I'll never someone asks me I will never do it again and I looked at it and I said how long did it take you to do that and he says I don't want to know <laughs> so I'm sure a pipe like that that he did himself would probably go at least in the range of you know five grand um, <clears throat> but it was a fantastic looking pipe so um, but yeah so it was just a great great time uh, you know and all started Thursday for us with having dinner with uh, Flat Cap and Lady Fire and then having the show Friday night and then the show all day uh, Saturday you know I came home Saturday night I actually <laughs> car got a flat so I had to change the tire on the way home uh, finally eventually made made it home and uh, pretty much just wanted to crash uh, so I mean it was but it was regardless of having to deal with the flat tire you know it was a fantastic time so really really thankful for uh, what the weekend was and uh, really appreciate everybody that showed up and got a, having a chance to actually you know connect person to person rather than video to video it was a, just a precious time for me so but you want to see the hall so I think you all have seen this because I think every every other YouTuber uh, that I've seen got them, I think, pretty much. But these little pipery canisters that hold just a little bit. I mean, these are good, just like a uh, little travel size containers. Um, you know, so... And you stick your tobacco in, it smells just as good as in a jar. But it's just great for travel size, and then you can get that custom made. So if you have a logo, you can have them laser etch it. And I think they don't even raise the cost of the pack when you do that. So I thought that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> got a plateau block uh, from Smoker's Haven along with a little pre-drilled one to kind of get some practice in has a nice see if you can see that uh, that flow and that yellow stem is really pretty now look at that hmm. um, let's see here so uh, Larry Blackett was there um, and I'll tell you what that man's an artist uh, and so I, yes I bought a tamper and yes it was a decent chunk of money but at the same time it was worth it um, and I think I showed this on uh, Flat Caps Live uh, but it's the mermaid so you know you see that detail there I mean he even got details in there on the shells I mean it just really is a neat piece <clears throat> and this thing's got a lot of heft to it you know it's not one of those um, tampers you carry around um, at all uh, you, you kinda just leave it as there's a conversation piece and set it up there um, because, I mean, it only can be used as a tamper, so, I mean, if you have something that does a scrape and all that stuff, that's going to be more practical tamper. But this is just phenomenal, and, you know, it's worth having a little piece. He had Wiley Coyote plunging a TNT uh, bomb. I mean, just fantastic stuff. So then, the creme de la creme. I got myself not one, but two pipes. 
and they were from Brebia. Now, what's interesting <coughs> is sitting down and looking at these things. Uh, you know, I'm stand well, I was standing there looking at these things, and uh, the first one that I was looking at, you know, was a uh, $145 pipe. So, like, Brevi is kind of like that maybe next step up from your entry-level Savinelli's, I guess. Um, and I'm like, oh, man, I really want that. That's really gorgeous. And then... I looked over to my right, and there was another one. I'm like, oh, but that one, oh, man, that one was $135. So right there, I'm sitting there looking at 100 or 280 bucks. Like, eh, I don't like my chances of survival if I come home with that 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 on the bill. So, um, you know, the guy was talking to us, the, the vendor, and he said. Well, it's thirty five percent off all sticker prices. And I'm like, oh I like that. You know, so all of a sudden instead of two hundred and eighty bucks, it's more closer to like one ninety on that. And I'm like, oh, that's not that that's still pushing it. You know. And I said, Well and I'm looking at him, I'm like, Well, I can't choose between the two. And he looks at me and says, well, I'll tell you what, I'll set these aside um, and let you decide. I'll sell them both to you for 160 Okay, yeah. So I go down and my daughter's with me and she was chatting Levon Irk's ear off. So we were chatting with him for a while and just really enjoying conversation with him and then he <laughs> after we got done with him talking with him I said oh, you know what I'm not even going to make it around the loop I just went walk right back I'm like here you go take my wallet so the first one that I was looking at was it's a 301 it's called a Ninja Rocatia Rocatia I'm not Italian, so, you know. So here we go. I've already smoked this because I couldn't wait. But it's like a 320 from Savinelli. And look at that beauty. And you can see inside the, that stem, it's just kind of got this nice... It's like a deeper caramel here, but clears up as it gets closer to the tip. Just a fantastic, fantastic pipe. And the great thing about this, it's a 9mm filter, but it comes with these little tenons that have this little rubber grommet here that you can put in and it turns it into an unfiltered pipe. But that grommet keeps it airtight, so it, this really becomes the only source of air for a non-filtered pipe. So it's really a really brilliant little insert. But I like my like my filters. So there's my 320. Then the other pipe, <clears throat> which was actually the first of the two that I smoked, it's a just a bronze pipa bronze. 602 there we go and just the rustication work on this is just fantastic and then you got the the two pieces there going into the stem 
you know, just wonderful. Wonderful pipe. It actually does real well clenching. And, you know, it's not that, not a perfectly, see there's the filter. I need to throw that one away. But not a perfectly circular uh, stem, which was great. I, I like that. More oval. Um, yeah. And just sits well in the mouth. And it's not so long where it's odd, but it's just got that nice, it's a nice small to medium sized bowl with the squat tomato shape. Oh, and then that stem with that just beautifully yellow, amber, smoky swirl. Right? Absolutely wonderful. So, in terms of the pipes and the supplies, it was a fantastic success. In terms of the experience, it was phenomenal. Really just enjoyed my time there. Um, and I'm looking forward to next year uh, to have the opportunity to meet up with everybody again who can make it up to Columbus. You know, and hopefully uh, someday I will be able to make it to uh, Nashville for theirs and to, I think it's Raleigh, North Carolina for theirs, Raleigh or somewhere. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to that. Um, you know, and if Chicago ever decides that they want to stop worrying about things, <laughs> you know, might head there too. Um, but either way, you know, it just, it was an experience and I really appreciated it and, uh, really enjoyed the time there. Meeting everybody was the best part. The pipes are great. The camaraderie was much better. Um, you know, just fantastic. So, you know, to everyone that I met there, um, Pittsburgh Piper was there, um, and he's not, he's not doing any videos anymore, but it was a delight to meet him. Um, Doug, Michigan E. Piper, great to meet him. Um, you know, Flat Cap and Lady Fire, spending a lot of time with them. And, and I'll tell you what, uh, they are, they're the genuine article. Um, you know, just absolutely class people. You know, uh, Raphael is just a great guy, and she is just a gem. Um, and then, uh, let's see who else was there. There was Donnie, uh, Hillbilly Piper was there, Smoking Fireman. Uh, he's a, he's an Ohio fellow as well. Met Beans. Uh, Beans is very, very tall. Uh, and just very, very personal, personable as well. Uh, but he <laughs> just... You don't realize the, the the height of some of these people, and all of a sudden you see their face. Like, yeah, I know that face, but then again, I'm used to looking at them at a computer screen downward a little bit. So all of a sudden now, I'm forced to go like this, you know. And I'm six one, you know. So <laughs> I'm not used to looking up to people for the most part. Um, uh, Eric Blue Collar Piper, uh, Greg Tunnel. Uh, that that guy's a stitch. Oh man, just, just a fun, fun dude. I mean, everybody was a fun dude. I just missed Corvette Jim. Uh, I would have liked to have had an opportunity to meet him, meet up with him. Um, who else? Uh, James Burroughs, I met him, his wife, and his wife had her first pipe. Uh, did that on, on Flat Caps Live, so that was awesome. Um, and she was a real sweetheart too. Uh, you know, so I mean, just, I mean, every, everybody was real genuine. Everybody was really a delight. Um, you know, and then just the random pipe makers that uh, were there that were willing to share their knowledge on how they do things, because eventually I wouldn't mind trying to throw my hat in that ring a bit. I've mentioned that once or twice before, but it's a matter of getting the time and 
than actually dedicating the time and I've not quite taken that step although I've got some of the supplies for it but in any case so this, this is uh, going a bit long so um, yeah anyway it's a great time you know and uh, you know hopefully Lord willing all the rest of you will have an opportunity to participate in something like this uh, it's well worth the time um, I could say it's well worth the travel, but it was not <laughs> much for me. <laughs> but uh, it's, if I could dare to say that take the time, uh, uh, or take dare to take the uh, uh, speak for all the ones who did travel, uh, it was well worth their time as well. I, I, I know that they felt that way. I know Greg expressed that in his video. Um, you yeah. know, so. It's great stuff. Anyway, so day of rest. Uh, that meant pipes too, because uh, uh, I pretty much smoked myself silly for the past three days. So I'm just my tongue was needing the day off. So count your blessings. Be thankful for them. And when all that's said and done, grace and peace to you. Bye now.